now we have created our database our objective is now to start displaying the users from that database so basically this time our data has to come from a remote database this database is going to supply data to our program that data will appear inside our classes there must be something that maps database tables to our c sharp classes for example if our table is tbl users and it is having a column called user uh, i think column was email and another column for uh, name this tbl users is consisting of a number of records we can view that this tbl users is a class and it has two properties called email and name and what data we will get from database will be a collection of tbl user objects it will be a collection of tbl users objects therefore we must now map each record in this table can be viewed as an object of a class tbl users this is one object this is second object this is third object fourth object each object is having two properties one for the first column called email other is for the name so we can model it like this that the data coming from the database will be put into a collection of tbl users objects where tbl users is the name of the table tbl users is the name of the table and email and name are the columns on it these columns map to properties of our model class and the name of the table is the maps to our model class take another example suppose we have a table called tbl x it has column 1 column 2 column 3 and a certain number of records say it has 50 records then we can map this actual table on database to one c sharp class for simplicity we can say that the name of the class will be tblx and the column 1 will be a property public string call 1 get set similarly call 2 and call 3 if call 2 is a number then instead of string we'll write public int if call 3 is a date we can write public date time call call 3 get set so basically when we are going to tackle a remote database we have to have a backing model in our c sharp a model that corresponds to that table in some way when we model our database into c sharp that modeling is done with the help of model classes if your table name is tblx then it is not compulsory that your c sharp class should also have name tblx you can give it any name you like but you must tell somewhere in that class that this class name corresponds to tblx